Yo, what's going on guys? Easy Tech 2 one here with probably one of the most interesting Android launchers that I've ever used, but at the same time, it's quickly become one of my favorite Android launchers that I've ever used. This is Home UX Beta. So you probably guess that since the word beta is in the title, this application is not ready for the general public just yet. And you'd be right, you can't really search this up on the Google Play Store just yet. Um, but hopefully soon in the near future, this application will be ready for everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the launcher itself. Up at the top here, we have our clock panel. We have our clock, obviously. Below that, we have our time and date. We also have the name of the folder that we're in, and we also have some applications that we can change. You know, we can take them off. We can put on different applications. We can also change the icon and what exact um, application that opens up when you tap on them. So it's pretty much like a dock on your normal launcher. Um, in here, this is our folder. It's like, just imagine all of the folders that you have just as your home screen. That's, that's exactly what this is, and I really like that. Um, so you can name the folders whatever you want them to be. These, this one, um, for me, happens to be my main folder. This because these are all the applications that I'm looking for when I first unlock my phone. These are the applications that I use the most. Swiping down, or swiping up rather, going down, we have our next uh, folder. This is my Google folder. So I've got all the Google applications that I use in here. Got my social media here and again got my tools and one game there. <laughs> um, but you guys get the idea. It's based on folders. Um, another thing you probably notice is that the clock panel is actually changing colors when I switch folders, which is really cool. And it's got that nice material design transition effect. And this little guy right here is what you call the quick action button. You can change it to do whatever you want it to do, open whatever application. And uh, for me, I have it set to voice search. So whenever, you know, and that, you know, stays the same, except for the color, it stays the same um, on whatever folder that I'm in. And whenever I tap on it, it'll bring up voice search. So that's always there. That's really, really cool. You can set it to be like the camera, calculator, whatever you want it to be. So swiping from left to right on our clock panel, we'll get over to our utilities. So things like hidden applications. You can hide applications if you want. You also have UX settings. That's the launcher settings. We'll get into that in a sec. Um, you've also got wallpaper, so you can change your wallpaper. Backup and restore, which is a very welcome function. So for example, if you want to change your setup, but you don't want to lose your current setup, you can back it up, change whatever you want, and say you don't like it, you can switch back to that previous setup in backup and restore. That's really nice. You've got your system settings here. You've also got your icon pack. So as you can see here, I do have an icon pack enabled. This is Click UI, one of my favorite icon packs on the Google Play Store. Um, so yes, I can change uh, to whatever icon pack I want out of the ones I do have, which is really nice. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of what you can do on the clock panel. Over here is where you're going to find folder central. So these are all your folders here. You can actually tap on them to switch in between them quickly, which is really, really nice. That's that's a nice touch. Um, and this plus button um, appears, you know, it changes from the quick action to a plus button. And this is where you're going to add a folder. So let's say, let's name this one, uh, let's just name this one that. Let's just name our folder that, whatever that is. Um, it's something somewhere in the world. Um, so let's go ahead and choose some applications. So for example, if we want to choose eBay, Dropbox, and Drive, we can also change our icon here. So for example, let's change it to this one. It looks like Google Opinion, Google Opinion Rewards or whatever that is. Um, you can also change your color right here. So tapping on this, you can change your color. Um, a really nice selection of colors here, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and keep it at red. And you can change your accent colors. So that's what the quick action button color will turn into. Um, so let's go ahead and keep it at that color there. And let's go ahead and hit OK. And there is our brand new folder. So long pressing on a folder will enable you to move it around wherever you want. So if I wanted to make this second in line, that'll be my second folder. So if I go to my main folder over here. The next one that I swipe to will be the one I just made, which is really cool. I, I like that red, by the way. That's a really nice red. <laughs> All right, so we can long press to edit. Okay, long press. There we go. If we can long press on there, and we can drag it to this pen over here to edit it. So if we wanted to add some more um, applications to that, we can do that. You can also drag it over to the right-hand side to this trash can to delete it. So I'm definitely not going to keep that. Um, so, But that's that's the idea. That's how everything works. That's how you change things in the folders, which is really, really nice. Um, so within the folder itself here in the home screen, you can actually long press and you can you can move the application to a different folder. You can add it to a different folder so it will still be here and you can just completely get rid of it from this folder and you can also hide this application from the folder which is pretty interesting. 
So I'll go ahead and press the back button. Now I did notice that after doing that, the icon kind of disappears. So that's just one of the little bugs in the beta. But again, everything will be ironed out for you know the final release. So don't worry about that. That's not a big deal. They can fix that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the UX settings. All right, so now we are in UX settings, and this is where you're going to be able to change pretty much everything else there is about the launcher and how it works. Um, so here we have app grid height um, with a max of five and app grid width at a max of five as well. So if I were to go back to, now if you're wondering why the, why the icons were so big, I'll get to that in a second. Um, but yes, now we have 5x5. Five five. I don't have enough icons in this folder to utilize the full 5x5 five five grid, but as you can see here horizontally, I do have five um, icons, so that is cool. But I'm going to go ahead and change that to 4x4, four four, which is what I had it at before, no pun intended. <clears throat> so app icon size, right now it's at 48 dp, and before what you saw for like a split second was 72 dp, that's the max, and I believe the lowest is 32, and boom, we've got these giant icons, so if you guys like big icons, that function is there for you in this launcher, so that <laughs> that's pretty interesting, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 48 dp. You can show or hide your app labels, as you, can, as you probably saw before, I did have my app labels on, but if I were to turn that off and go back, boom no app labels that is pretty cool I do like how that looks it's so if you're a minimalist then this is the function for you you can also um, enable an application background so if you guys know the Google now launcher 5.0 lollipop um, had a white um, background for the app drawer that's very similar to what this is right here so if you like that look of the Google now launcher then you have that there that is pretty cool and that is also set on by default and you've also got your animations so when you're let's say if you have a folder with a whole bunch of apps in it um, and it takes up the entire folder it'll actually add another page to it um, you know to you know fit in all the rest of your applications so that's what this is for so if you have different pages you can change your page transition to you've got a good selection of transitions here which is really nice the one I use is depth so that's a good look as well. And then over here, this is where you're going to find your quick action. Um, so that's that little button you saw right about here on the home screen. Um, and for me, I set it to be, um, what was it, voice search. Um, I actually changed it to AccuWeather for some reason. But let's go ahead and go to voice search. Change that back, show you guys how it works. You just choose your application. You can choose the icon. And let's do the microphone one if I can find it. All right, let's see here. All right, there's the, the microphone right there. So if I go ahead and go back home, boom, there you go. It's changed. So that is cool. So that's about it for Home UX Launcher, guys. I, I got to say, this launcher is really, really cool. It's simple, but it's awesome at the same time, which is not an easy thing to do because there are a lot of launchers on the Google Play Store that are simple, but they're just not that awesome. This one, however, is simple and awesome. The developers of the launcher actually reached out to me about a week ago as of the shooting of this video, um, looking to get my opinion, my 100% honest opinion on this application. And I have to say my 100% honest opinion is that this launcher is awesome. This is a go. It's, it's really awesome. I'm really enjoying it so far and I'm definitely looking forward to the full release. Um, and I hope you guys out there are too watching this video. I hope you guys are looking forward to the full release because, you know, I, I really am. Um, and I actually donated um, to the team. If you're wondering what that team is, it's the Dravite developer team. Now, I'm hoping I'm hoping that I pronounced that correctly. Um, I believe it's like the Dravite crystal. So if it is, then it's Dravite, I hope, as my voice cracks. So anyway, go ahead and donate. They have an application on the Google Play Store. I'll put a link in the description where you can donate. And after you do donate, whenever the full release is released, you'll get that. And you can, you know, go ahead and start using it yourself. Um, so huge, you know, huge shout out to you guys. You guys have done a great job with this application. Again, I'm, I'm really liking it a lot. Um, so yeah, this is Home UX and... It's just awesome, guys. This this concept is really good, and I'm looking forward to this being added into my collection of launchers. So, awesome. Really awesome job, guys. All right, so if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well. Make sure to follow the Dravite team on Twitter, Google+, YouTube as well. Um, subscribe to them on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter as well at EasyTech231. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.